What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to an express episode of Chris's Custom Collectibles and today we are going to be pimping out a $5 Space Blaster from Kmart. What inspired me to do this is a good mate of mine by the name of Jackson Rupert who is a fantastic special effects artist in the States. He found one of these toy guns, pimped it out, repainted it and it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the shading, the colors, everything he's done with the gun. I happened to see this at my local Kmart for five dollars so I thought I'd give it a crack and put my own spin on it at the same time. Now the reason why I say this is an express episode is we're not going to be doing anything too drastic. The main purpose is to repaint this and make this look like a pretty neat prop. So I've actually taken the liberty of unscrewing the piece. So you can see a panel there pops out, the handle here also pops out so it's going to make painting these a lot easier. These pieces are actually going to be spray painted gold. Now if you guys remember with the Star Lord Blaster, I came up with a concoction of shoe polish and a metallic powder that I added into the black shoe polish. I'm going to be doing that over the whole area of the gun that is black. I am going to be leaving the blue see-through areas because I think they kind of look cool and also... Why not? Now before we get to any priming or painting, I am going to attack the barrel with a Dremel because as you can see here it's sealed up and it just looks a little bit weird. Now because I want to keep the base color, I am going to be using a clear primer. This is Duramax from Dulux. Works great. Clear primer if you want to keep your base color, but also you have to make sure that your paint is going to adhere to the plastic. Now after that I'm going to be showing you guys how I apply the black shoe polish with the metal pigment in it. And then after that we're going to go in and do some hand painting and I will show you all the colors I'm going to be using. This is going to be a fun little project. Shouldn't take too long. Hope you guys get something out of it. So with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so whilst the main body of the gun is drying in the sun with that clear primer, we've got some black shoe polish here. Now, if this is your first time watching a custom collectible, guys, you know that you know shoe polish is a staple with a custom collectible. I use Kiwi brand shoe polish. In this case, we're using black. The other option is brown, but we're not going for the brown hue today. Now, these are the metallic pigments I was telling you about. We've got a gold, we've got a silver. So, predominantly, I'm gonna be popping a lot of silver in here and just a smidge of gold just for something different. And I'll show you guys how it looks when it drops in like so. And just give it a mix. Now, it's one of those things of trial and error that, you know, just keep mixing uh, bits at a time until you achieve your desired look. Now, I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but you get a pretty good idea of how it looks with the metallic powder in there. So, like I said, I'm gonna add a bit of gold just uh, for something different, just to give it a different sort of hue. And make sure you always pop the lid on this stuff when you're not using it, because even the slightest breeze can send this stuff flying, it's crazy. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to do about two or three coats to really get that desired look. I know it doesn't look like much now, but after about three coats, it really gives that nice metallic finish. Okay, so this is three coats later and I love the finish that it gives the gun so far. It's just something different as opposed to a flat black. Um, it just has that nice metallic sheen to it and I love the way the blue integrates in with the final finish of that metallic look. Next up, it's time to spray paint the white panels gold and for that we're just going to be using the Create Effects from Tester's range. This is a gold. These paints are fantastic. The only downside is they're in these small little cans and they do not last long but they do pack a punch. They are great uh, for this type of stuff.
Okay, so all the silver areas, including little details here and there, have been completed. Now, just like the Star Lord Blaster, I am going to give the barrels some uh, heat treating. So we're going to weather it like it has had excessive heat from firing over time. So that is going to come later in the process of this customization. But next up, we're going to do a finish on these gold panels here. Now, I actually got some brown shoe polish with the gold powder. So you can see right there, it's got a nice gold look to it. So what we're gonna do is brush it all over the gold pieces and wipe away the excess, and it just will give the illusion of sort of an antique kind of brush finish to these pieces. Okay, so I've placed the gold panels back onto the gun itself and I'm very happy with how it's looking so far. The only thing is it's looking a little bit too pristine for my liking. So we're actually gonna go back in with the black shoe polish with the silver metallic powder embedded into it and just very lightly go over the whole gun weathering it, wiping away the excess and then we can move on to replicating the heat burns around the barrel and then we're gonna call it a day. Okay, the second last step in this custom build today is the burns around the barrel of the gun. So exactly like the Star-Lord gun, we're gonna try and emulate burnt metal from this gun firing off. So it's the exact same steps that we use for the Star-Lord gun. We're using all Model Masters paints. We have a Panther pink that is gonna be our base color going all the way around the barrel, strategically wearing and tearing everywhere around here. Then we're gonna go in with an Arctic blue metallic and then back that up with a grabber blue. Now these two are gonna mix with the pink to give that purple look, like severe heat has charred this metal. I'm actually gonna glove up for this one and tack the paint on, brush the paint on, go back and forth until the desired look is achieved, whilst also blending it into the silver here, just so they're not too dramatic against each other and it kind of blends into the silver. Once that's dry, we're gonna seal it up with a clear gloss and then we're gonna call it a day. Now I said that I was going to use a clear gloss to seal up the gun, but I'm actually going to use a matte clear coat. This is Preserve It. Um, I just feel that a dull matte coat is going to look a lot better on this gun. So thanks very much for watching guys. All in all, this took a couple of hours to do. It was great to kill time. 
on a Friday afternoon and all it cost me was $5. And to be honest, I was working at a slow rate, taking my time because obviously I didn't really have it in my head what I wanted the final product to look like, but I'm very happy with the end result. It almost has that kind of retro space opera feel to it, so I'm very happy with how it's turned out. So if you're bound around the house and feel like painting something, head down to your local Kmart, pick one of these bad boys up for $5 and make it your own. Guys, if you do end up painting up one of these, please send me photos. I want to see what you guys do with your space blasters. A massive thank you again to my buddy Jackson Rupert for his inspiration for painting this piece up. I will leave Jackson's Instagram down below you can check out his other amazing work. The guy is a talent bag. Guys, have yourselves a cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.